A Sirocco first appeared in Volkswagen showrooms some 40 years ago, but this model is a lot younger than that, having only been around since 2008. Mind you, some things haven't changed. Like its predecessor, this latest Scirocco is a sports coupe based on the same platform as a Golf, and just as before, that recipe makes a lot of sense. By developing a new car on an existing platform, Volkswagen can do it for a lot less money, so in theory at least, that car will cost you a lot less money too. As far as we're concerned, Volkswagen has absolutely nailed it with the Sirocco styling. From every angle, this is a great looking car. There's the angular front end, the curvaceous rear, and all topped off with a set of gleaming alloy wheels on every model. On top of that, most of them come with tinted rear windows, and some even have twin exhaust pipes. That said, we're sure that to some eyes, this will look a little conservative for a coupe, and it's certainly not as in your face as something like the Toyota GT86, but it does have a real elegance to it. And because it's lower and wider than the Golf GTI, it's more imposing than that legendary hot hatch. Dig a little deeper for an R-Line model like this one, and it comes with its own unique body kit. The bumpers, the sill, and the radiator grill along with these cherry red rear light clusters, make it stand out from other Sirocco's. If you're one of those people who think the Sirocco's exterior looks a little conservative, you'll doubtless say the same thing about the interior. But we reckon it makes perfect sense for Volkswagen to stick with its tried and tested formula, especially when the result is a cabin that's so easy to use and so comfortable to sit in. The dials couldn't be any clearer, and it's the same story with the stereo and touchscreen sat-nav here in the centre console. Last but not least, the plastics feel really hard wearing. Everything has a quality feel and the seats are really comfortable. What's perhaps most surprising is that the Sirocco is quite practical. Well, practical for a coupe. These two sculpted rear seats mean it's a genuine four-seater, as long as those passengers aren't too tall, of course and the boot will take an impressive amount of luggage. Our only real complaints are that the boot has a high lip, which soon becomes annoying, and these rear windows are a little small, which makes it rather claustrophobic in the rear seats. Every version of the Scirocco is great to drive, with accurate steering, plenty of grip, and superb composure. But GT models and above come with something extra called adaptive chassis control. This allows the driver to adjust the car's suspension and steering in one of its three modes, sport, comfort, and normal. In normal mode, the car continually adjusts to how it's being driven and the road it's being driven on. If you switch to sport, it sharpens everything up nicely. There are plenty of engines to choose from, but we reckon it's worth going for one of the more powerful units if you want to get the very best out of your Sirocco. The two litre petrol engine is a cracker, but we also reckon the diesels are worth a look. Go for the Blue Motion model and you can expect as much as 50 miles to the gallon in everyday use, which is mighty impressive for a sporting coupe. We take our hats off to Volkswagen. The Sirocco it's every bit as enjoyable to drive as it is good to look at, and it's even surprisingly practical for a coupe. To be honest, Volkswagen could have charged a lot more for it, but the icing on the cake is the price. <laughs>